Hello everyone, I'm your host Boss Zombie. Welcome to 60 Seconds, the Fallout Survival game. I watched a couple of YouTubers playing this. There was Markiplier and Jacksepticeye and let's see, new game. I wanted to play this myself. I don't know. Select like a type of adventure: Atomic Drill, Apocalypse, Scavenger. I think Survival. Is just the normal, yeah. Experience water cover. Blah. No, wait. This is like. Oh no! It's random. Just like that's not what I want. I guess apocalypse, right? See, I your has to. Yeah, this is the one. 20 seconds, yeah. so what are the differences? 60 seconds, junk, work briefcase. What does that even mean? Holiday luggage. Health issues, rare, fragile equipment, sturdy, unwanted visitors, few, trouble sometimes, often, every day, god. Okay, I think I'll do little boy to start out. <clears throat> oh, god, excuse me, to start out. Right? Start off an easy and work your way up. Is there supposed to be no sound? Ah, ah. Oh, this may not be the right mouse for this. Is that the radio? Yes, okay. Well, at least I know what that is. Oh, wow. You don't get a lot of time. Oh, Timmy counts as two. Ah, ah. Pick up the flashlight. Pick that up. Oh, wow, you really don't get a lot of time. This is bad. Oh, are those not cards I can pick up? I thought they were. Okay, I can't do this with this mouse. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. I need the soup. Ah. Oh, God. This is terrible. Well, it could be worse, I guess. So here we are. The three of us are safe and sound. We just need to make it work from now on. We really wish it was four of us. When we opened the shelter door, we noticed some of the shelves were already stocked. We can't really say we recall putting all these supplies here, but we're definitely going to put them to good use. Our shelves are full of cans. Oh, so it's one guide, one cards, one poison. Sleep on cans, we'll even talk to cans, some of us already do. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. Oops. Oh well. Break some eggs to make an omelet. Now, how did this work? I don't do it every day. It's like every f four days, I think, if you have the guide. We decided to have some fun today and play a game or two. The first one was picking the game we are going to play. This took us most of the day, and we still haven't made up our minds. Good. Why the Geiger counter? Stop, stop, stop with the Geiger counter. We decided to act out scenes from our favorite movies to amuse ourselves, at least for a moment. For some reason, every time we picked a new scene, we ended up with one from a Humphrey Bogart film. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today and, did, and no trouble dared to cross her path. Like the good scout he is, Tommy is making the best out of the situation. He even seems cheerful. Ted says there's no need to worry about 
him. He's okay. Oh! That's lovely. It looks like they are still irradiated. Going to the wasteland right now is unsafe unless you don't mind getting sick. Maybe I should wait on an expedition until it's safer. No, because that's what the gas mask is for, right? There's been radio chatter about airdrops from the military. It's about time. Oh, okay. All those taxes had to pay for a crate or two for us, right? Shall we head out to get them? Gas mask! I have a lot of water. Wait, I have a giant jug of water, but then three little bottles? I got more soup! Oh! Oh, the airdrop crate we found wasn't exactly huge, but it contained a few supplies that will definitely help us. We were especially happy to find some water bottles and food cans. For a minute, we thought it was canned meat, but then we found out it was tomato soup. Our theory is that this whole country used to run on tomatoes and no one suspected a thing. We should get Mary Jane something to drink. Some water for Timmy would be nice. Ted should drink something soon. I remember they said four days for each time if you have the guide. The Boy Scout manual. So nothing yet. So by the time we choose someone to scavenge the remains out of our town and search supplies, who will it be? The wasteland awaits. Let's send Mary Jane the gas mask. Don't break that gas mask, please. Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him water now. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs a drink right now. So, water. Water. What happened to my... Okay, that was weird. Oh, I guess it's not one anymore. It's just plus. Okay. What was that? A rat? Rats are usually smaller than cats, and what's with the double tail? We can't let that thing get our supplies. Gun! Aw, oh, gun broke. Our cans are safe. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Stop at the gagger counter. It makes me uncomfortable. Guess we're still top of the food chain. Good for us. Damn, our gun blew away when we tried to shoot the thing. Timmy might not look like it, but he's a strong boy. He's doing just fine. Ted is not complaining today, at least not very much. So do they not need food? The damaged rifle hanging there makes us feel unsafe. Maybe we should try to fix it. Not to mention it could be useful in this part of the wasteland. Any part of the wasteland, for that matter. Oh, well, it's still early. I guess I can risk the manual. No, don't. Don't break the manual somehow. Hey, cool. What happened to Ted? With the help of the scouting handbook, we were able to get the rifle into working condition. We even ended up with spare parts. Everything would have been okay if it wasn't for the last bolt stuck in the barrel. Of course, it fired right into someone's leg. Nothing to report on Timmy. Ted was hurt. Well, sorry, Ted. I don't have a med kit. Wait, do I? No, I don't have a med kit. That's a problem. There's nothing more surprising than knocking on our fallout shelter door. Who could it be? Should we investigate and risk our very lives? That sounds like a good idea. Shall we open the door? Sure! Huh? How did she get down here? Dolores suffered with her injuries for far too long. When the infection spread, there was nothing we could do. When we opened the door, we just laughed and screamed and screamed and laughed some more. It was Dolores. She survived the blast more or less without a scratch. Oh, this happy day. I have several questions. <clears throat> so she survived without a scratch to the door and then died. As soon as she got in the shelter. Okay. Timmy's very hungry. Doesn't need much, but he should drink. Ted is hungry. All Ted wishes for a few drops of water. 
So I think I can go one more day. A group of people dressed in green pajamas knocked on our hatch. A group of people dressed in green pajamas knocking on our hatch is not something we anticipated. This is exactly what happened. Furthermore, they insisted they are merry men and we should take from the rich and give to the poor. We're pretty poor, so maybe we could give them, make some new friends? Should we let them in? Sure. Well, at least Dolores, you made it into the shelter, dead. Hey, Mary Jane's back. Oh, there's... Oh, we got more... Wait. Hey, they gave us more soup. Anything else? Or maybe Mary Jane got the soup. Merry men were not married at all. They told us we were rich and that we should share... Oh, they took my checkers and my poison. Grab a few things up. We couldn't do anything to stop them. Their green clothes were far too damn hypnotizing. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. Yay. A pile of car wrecks revealed that we stumbled across a big parking lot. Almost no car survived the blast wave, but we went between the wrecks to explore anyway. It seems like the bomb interrupted someone's picnic. Thankfully, they were big fans of tomato soup and the indestructible cans were scattered all around the parking lot. Mary Jane is starving. We better give her some food today, or else. Mary Jane is really tired. She should eat something. Terrible shape. We need to give him water now. Hungry. Okay, so I'll give everyone. Wait, they can just do it like this, right? Oh, okay. There, right? Uh, it's still early in the game. I guess I can. We had the most curious visitors today. One of them was making the sound of a galloping horse using a pair of rocks hitting them against each other. While his companions were preparing to ride said horse. They claimed to be on a very important quest to seek this magical- Oh, it's Monty Python! Only they were lost their way in the wasteland. They asked permission to have a quick look at our map to determine- Ooh. Okay, just don't rip my map, please. <clears throat> oh, the radio made sounds. Did they give me anything? A briefcase? Did I have that? Oh, it seemed... What do you mean it's hungry? It's very hungry. I just gave them food. Look at our map. They thanked us and offered supplies in exchange. We graciously accepted and wished them luck on their quest. I'm not giving anyone food. Fuck that. Can't send Mary Jane. I'll send... Timmy, the gas mask. Dak uses the food, went out of the way, some blah, blah blah. Ted might have some nasty scars if those wounds ever heal. That's fine. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we'll have to leave eventually. It would be good to head straight to safety. Instead of getting ourselves into more trouble. That's even possible in this situation. Our hope is that our brave soldiers will come to rescue us and take us to some well-hidden, well-stocked government shelter. Timmy had comments about those, so you know they must exist. All we need to do is make contact with the military. Radio! So this game is impossible if you don't have... The radio, right? We made contact! Why is there a skull? The military is out there and they're coming for us. All we need to do now is wait patiently. The soldier with the boring voice was very specific about this. Help is on the way. We just need to wait for further instructions and keep our radio in working order. Mary Jane's died, he's a little food, and runs the drinks and pants. Is there any water left? Ted needs water to survive. Okay, well, fine. No, but it hasn't been four days. They need to hold out one more day. Open the name of freedom came a shout from outside our door. We weren't sure who to expect. Yeah, we weren't sure who claimed to be representing freedom. But could hear it was a group of people, probably armed. Anyone who introduces themselves like that is probably planning to kill someone in the name of freedom. Should we open? Sure. When we 
peeked outside, we were greeted by a group of high school students. They were well equipped and looked like they could take care of themselves. They questioned us about enemy combatants in the area. We couldn't help them, but they were happy to leave one of their spare axes with us. Cool. In case we needed to defend ourselves. When we asked why would they help us, they repli replied it's what wolverines do. I don't get that reference. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Keeps fainting, we need to do something to drink, foot in the grave. Okay, so food, water. Oh dear, we just remembered we planned to take a trip south in two months. It's still if it's still there, we're going, right? We're pretty sure that they don't bomb warm places. Um they're not picky, I believe. Timmy? Timmy looks tired, but he doesn't look <clears throat> sick or injured. Medkit! Oh, should I heal Ted? He's been hurt for a while. Hunting forehead is usually a good strategy, but for now we should be more interested in our plan for water rationing. We were so afraid Timmy for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland to safe with us now. Before leaving our neighborhood, our expedition noticed a group of scavengers. We didn't know them, yet they didn't have any reservations about scavenging the area. Clear. We decided to steal one of the numerous backpacks they had while they weren't looking. The sound of glass hitting glass while running with a backpack could mean only one thing, water. At the bottom of the backpack, underneath a dozen or so pieces of women's underwear, we found a first aid kit. How is it fucking out? I bet... Do I use the med kit? Ah, oh, fuck it, I'll use the med kit. I can get another one maybe if I'm lucky. Ring, ring! <clears throat> God, what? <clears throat> I'm so sorry, what the hell's wrong with my voice? Ring, ring, there we were, thinking we wouldn't ever hear a telephone again. When suddenly a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside, we figured it's the phone. Phone booth across the street. Should someone go answer it? Well, only Ted can. So if he dies right now, that's it. I'm doing okay as far as everything goes, I think. Oh, hello, little... I don't know what you are. Oh, wait, maybe that's like the robot gentleman? From, like, the people who make the game? There's also a lumberjack over there. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller and introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We'd started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. Hopefully they'll get back to us. Dad is safe. Mary Jane could use food. Very hungry. Okay, everything's fine. The damage is strong soon. Uh... No, because only Ted can scavenge right now, so we'll wait. Mary Jane was injured in the last expedition. She didn't mention it to us and we didn't notice it. It wasn't a problem until just now. Since her injury got infected... Okay, well, we'll use the axe. <coughs> ah, God. Mary Jane got the wrong idea when we branched the axe. She tried to limp out of the bunker. Fortunately, she was too slow. We were able to explain our intentions before she ran off. Heating the axe's blade allowed us to clean the wound and stop it from festering. Why is everyone using cauterization in my games lately? Now it's up to her immune system to fight off the infection. We had to break our axe to do it, but she looked better today, so we are hopeful it was worth it. Everyone's hungry. Water. Timmy needs food. Give Timmy some food. He didn't need water, right? Yeah, I'll just give him food. Timmy could, but I don't want to. I'll wait for Mary Jane. It's not easy to calm, to be calm in these circumstances. Hopefully, we will keep our peace, or else we might need to act like wolves, survive the fittest, and all. Oh, nice beard, Ted. 
And Timmy's sick. It's easy to feel a bit down when living underground like this. No sunshine, no sky. We need to get rid of that pessimism and try to bring some cheerfulness back into our lives. Quite hungry, keeps fainting, we need to give water. Timmy, food and shape, water. Timmy fell sick. Where's water when Ted's needs? Okay, so everyone, food, water. No expeditions. Oh, what? A woman came by with a creature she claims is a camel, provided the camels have five legs. The animal is carrying a pack for, of goods for trade. I don't have anything and I need the radio, so sorry, lady. It's kind of Papers, Please-esque. The music. In the end, we decided her offers were not for us. Maybe another time if she ever comes back. It's impressive how well Mary Jane is handling the situation. She looks fine today. I gave Timmy two food things in a row. No problem with Charlie and Ted this fine morning. Fuck you guys, you don't need food. We always steered away from casinos, gambling dens, and the like. So when a man came to our door and told us he could he used to be a gambler, we were suspicious. He invited us to play a game. He proposed a two water bottle bet in a card game of our choice. I don't have cards. So the gambler wants to play a card game and doesn't, doesn't have his own cards? That was Timmy coughing, right? Gambling is a terrible habit. What kind of example is that to set the kids? We need supplies, but we're not getting them like that. We'd sooner rob someone. We set the man away. Good, good riddance. Uh, everything's fine on that front. Okay. Mary Jane is still tired. Oh, it's high time we stopped wondering about what's going on and started asking questions, or at least listen to some reasonable answers. So how about tuning to a radio station and learning a thing or two about the brave new world? Okay. Wait, this isn't gonna break the radio, right? Okay. We're able to get a weak signal to happen to the government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news! The fall outside is mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel to the surface now. Can I spare some water? Mary Jane has been asking blah blah blah. Apple juice. Oh! Beach. No supplies today, but if Mary Jane doesn't get stop being tired soon, I'm gonna have to send Timmy out. Surely dive she was outside. Chance to get back. How do I cure people of being tired? We have a situation on our hands. There is a group approaching our shelter and they don't seem like the occasional friendly scavengers to run into. Not at all. They look like they're out for blood. Or cans. Probably cans. It's a terrible time for humanity if canned soup is enough to turn us into monsters. Anyway, we need to defend ourselves. Lock. But the lock is four. Whoa, I just got like three achievements. We didn't think that small padlock would stop them, but it turned out to be enough to discourage the unknown attackers. It seems that they gave this whole break in a fair shot, but ultimately gave up and left. Too bad that padlock is in no shape to be used again. We need to think of other ways to fight off the bandits and other soup hungry barbarians. So everyone needs food and water. Food, water. <sighs> Hold off in hopes that Mary Jane... We will catch the military broadcast again. This time they're asking us to get out with a flashlight and signal to their plane after it gets dark. If all goes well, they'll be able to find us. Sounds like we'll be leaving soon. Flashy light, huh? Alright, well, I'm gonna see how that turns out in the next episode, so... Oh, yeah. Thanks for joining me. Come back all the next stuff up real soon, but until then... Bye!